Good day everyone, welcome to today's video. Today it's the promised replay of the Fog Wolf 189 of when I went out with um, all into a battle with Killer Tigger and it's all Knuckles something. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll check before I make myself a like a doofus. Um, it would have been this one, yeah. Itchy Knuckles 1. There we go. Okay, so in this battle, me and Itchy Knuckles, as well as um, Killer Tigger had literally what well, was going on, on for the last match of the night. We wanted to do some low tiers and we thought battery rate at 1.7 Germany was perfect. Now, at the time, I'd only been flying with Killer Tigger for about an hour. I'd just spaded the VB10 with him, the C1, which started flying the VB1002, which I don't particularly like at the moment, but. Apologies about that, that's my phone. Um. And we were just thinking, well, he wants a mate to join for the last battle of the night. And I was like, okay, no problem. And battle went 1.7 Germany. He brought, well, um, Killer Tigger brought out a Heinkel 112A0. And Itchy Knuckles brought out a Heinkel 100, I believe. I brought out my Falkworth 189 because I thought, why not? And, well, we had a pretty good game, needless to say. We had a pretty good game. It was a lot of fun. Well, in fact, before I go into the replay, I'm going to go briefly over this plane. So the Focke 189 was originally a scout aircraft in real life. It didn't have very good performance in terms of top speed or climb rate. But what it doesn't lack in performance, it more than makes up for it in turn rate. For a twin-engined scout aircraft, which is basically what it is, this thing turns like... No one. This thing absolutely outturns hurricanes, Spitfires, um, Yaks, P-36 Hawks. Biplanes will give it a run for its money, but even if they get on your 6, you've got two MG-15s back here. And this thing's a lot of fun. This is the first plane that actually netted me a 9-kill game. I'll leave that in the description below, because that's on the Digital Time Travelers channel. That was about a couple of months before... Oh no. It would have been three months before I actually started doing YouTube. If only I'd been doing it then. Oh boy. But yes, I'll leave a link to that in the description if I remember. But um, the plane itself is not very fast, not very good in a climb, and it only carries a light payload to so say it's classed as a medium bomber. It's not a medium bomber, people. It's just a scout plane. If anything, it's a light bomber. But with 450 kilogram bombs, you ain't going to be doing much, but you'll do something at least. But um, it's got some armor plating in the form of 8.5mm segments here and an 8.5mm segment here. This will only stop rifle caliber. 12.7 will go straight through it. But this plane is a lot of fun. So let's jump in. So as you can see the battle took place at around quarter past 11 at night and oh my god. Now, It's Phillips and Itchy Knuckles are actually, I, I believe they're both American, so it would have been the morning for them if I'm not mistaken, maybe early afternoon, not certain, I don't live in the US, but um, obviously I'd already had a long day and I thought, well, I want to fly something fun and exciting, but naturally we've got to follow up to you. Because there's some poor sod in the Heiko 111H6, which, I mean, it's not a bad plane, but it certainly could be better. It got a buff recently because its defensive armament got updated. But when I had to respade it to get the um, the tail turret, because there's the MG15 in the back, and most of the guns on that plane are MG17s. Well, no, the MG17 is the one in the mounted in the tail. But um needs to say the what the 111 H6 isn't a great plane. It's got a good payload, but that's really all it's got going for it. So there you can see down there you just saw Itchy Knuckles and um Killer Tigger. Obviously Killer Tigger I believe is spaded. Itchy Knuckles is spaded, I believe. And obviously, this thing came spaded, so you can bet your ass I'm spaded. I have the market distinction on this plane. 
there are very few planes that I have in my premium collection that have the mark of distinction done. I am carrying a payload but the 450 kilogram bombs is just to get a couple of extra lions. Why not? But it really is a good plane. If you haven't got this plane, I highly suggest you get it in a, in a new event. And now you're going to see where Killer Tigger wastes most of his ammo on that Hampton. Right now I'm just looking around to see what I can see. I saw this bomber just going vertical. It turns out it was a Hampton. And I have no idea what he was doing, but I uh, And there you are, there is my name is Ia. Now there's a lot of Xbox players in this battle. Obviously the Xbox is marked by the arrow pointing upwards. And as you can imagine, most of them didn't have any brains. I was also making a joke about that Man of Steel guy. As I said, he was Superman. Don't worry, Killer Tigger and Itchy Knuckles both got a joke. Because a couple of matches before, I made a Red Dead Redemption 2 reference in one of Killer Tigger's matches and nobody got it. And I was very disappointed. It just proves that most people just play one video game for the rest of their life it seems that being War Thunder trust me I play a lot of video games other than War Thunder here you can see Itchy Knuckles baiting that hurricane beautifully he said he'd take it I was like okay do you want me to go for the P4A he was like yep go for the P4A I, at this point he does screw up the hurricane pretty bad obviously I break off because he wants to go for the hurricane I said no problem I'll roll over and deal with this P4A flown by an Xbox player. And of speed of P40, it loves to catch fire. I forgot to mention the belts that I use. I use Universal in the front 7.92s and APT in the rear 7.92s. Obviously the guns in the front are MG-17s, the ones in the back are MG-15s. And I did most of this dogfight with the bombs on board. There's the P-40F, which is a Merlin powered P-40. I said to Itchy Knuckles, that thing is a dangerous son of a bitch, we need to get rid of it. I moved in to try and deal with it, the P-40 smartly dives here, which is what he should have done in the first place, because I cannot catch him in a dive. Obviously spot the Yak-1. We also make a joke at some point about me being a scout plane because I actually scout that Yak-1 later. And of course Superman's still alive. I pull it vertical, this thing does not do well in vertical maneuvers but this is more than adequate. Itchy Knuckles cripples the P-40's engine. I said to him, you got him? He, is, he just says, yeah, his engine's gone. So I leave him for him. Me and Itchy Knuckles do surprisingly well in this battle. I-16 starts to come in. Now, I'm not certain what level these Xbox players were, but I'm guessing very low. The I-16 pulls up for a head-on. But I'm not going head-on with an I-16. Now, at this point, I jump into tail gun. And any second now, I'm accidentally going to hit Itchy Knuckles with a stray bullet. And that's when I hit him with a stray bullet, and I apologize. But luckily, it didn't do any damage as far as I'm aware. He engages the I-16, cripples it. He actually crits him. I believe he crit his tail. At this point, I'm getting rid of the bombs. If there are any light bombs, I don't expect them to do much, but 200 less kilograms under my wings is 200 less kilograms. Itchy Knuckles now has a Spitfire and the I-16 that he crit. Gonna go for the Spitfire first. It's the biggest threat. It's a bloody Spitfire. And there we go, the Spitfire's dealt with. Moving in for the I-16. I keep the dive on, 
luckily I have just enough speed to catch the I-16. There goes the Spitfire and there goes the I-16. Kill number two and three. And we look behind, well I look behind me and I discover there is a Yak on my ass. He hits me pretty good. But it's a Yak against a Fokker 189 in a turning fight. This is not going to end well for him. And as you can see I'm running rings around him. This thing is highly, highly maneuverable. Ichi Knuckles goes for the Yak 1. He puts some good hits into him. I pull up for a shot on the Yak 1. I got some hits. I nearly shit myself there because I thought he was going to go for a ram. I pretty certainly did. Me and Ichi Knuckles both go to gangbang this poor sod. For some reason I don't get an assist, but Ichi Knuckles takes him out with an engine fire. Beautiful. That's Ichi Knuckles, I believe, third kill. Or it might be his second one, I can't remember. It's a second. He goes for some brief runs on ground targets. That's perfectly fine. Totally not lining up on his vehicles there, buddy. <laughs> and any second now, I'm actually going to spot the Yak-1 flown by Drifting King. Because I know how overpowered AA trucks are, I decided to nail the AA truck. That's the only AA truck left in that convoy. There's the P-36, flown by Superman. Obviously it's not actually Superman, but I was making a joke, to those who understand it. Now, for some strange reason, I was firing there, and the replay doesn't seem to show it. That's strange, but never mind. Obviously, the P-36G, which is the 2.3 variant of the P-36, which is highly dangerous to most planes at this battle rating. Um, well, let's just say I don't really want to deal with that. I can outturn him, easily. But if that thing gets its armament on me, I'm kind of screwed. Now, the fuel tanks in this thing are actually really small. They're located just between where the wings and the twin boom connect to the aircraft quite small but they're if you know where to shoot this thing will catch on fire like a torch and it will not go out and there we go I'm doing my scouting right about now when I spot the yak one and obviously I make a joke here I just say hey I'm doing my scouting job I'm doing the right thing obviously there's three planes on that p-36 the yak one's coming in I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here because we've got some well, we can cut it down a little bit, I guess. And any second now, the P-36 is going to come for a crack at me. Obviously, I am at low speed, but I do maneuver the best at low speeds. Killer Tigger crits the Yak-1, but of course, the Yak-1 being a skills retard that he is, he rams him, taking Killer Tigger out, but also taking the Yak out. The P-36 comes for a crack. He obviously doesn't know how maneuverable this plane actually is. And Killer Tigger watches in amazement as this thing runs rings around a P-36. The Hunger 100 goes in there to try and take the kill. Itchy Knuckles is actually out of ammunition at this point, and he wants to ram the P-36. I scored some hits, obviously. Itchy Knuckles is way faster than me, and he's going for that ram. And he made some very hilarious noises as he was trying to ram. I hit the P-36 pretty good, blow off a flap, crit him, and before Ichi Knuckles could swing it around for a kill, or a ram, I take him out of the sky. And I thought, why not just shoot the cockpit just to finish off the game? And that's the end of the battle. So if you don't have this plane, I highly suggest you get it whenever you can. It is a lot of fun. It is just so maneuverable for its size and it just does everything that you expect it to do landing this thing can be a bit of a trouble because of the flaps ripping off at low low speeds like i mean this thing rips its combat flaps at about 120 miles per hour so do take that into account don't use your flaps in turn fights you don't need them if your turn fight goes below 140 miles an hour use the flaps i guess but just don't rely on them they will snap off easily Killer Tigger only got an assist for this match. 
That's a shame, but he got rid of that yak, so that's something. And Inchy Knuckles got three kills and three ground targets, as well as two assists. But he did run out of ammunition. To be fair, though, I was low on ammunition. I only had about 30 rounds left. But we had a pretty decent game. And obviously, Itchy Knuckles and Killer Tigger obviously could fly more with me. Maybe even send some replays in, lads. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe something for me to work with. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Fox 189 and a little bit of seal clubbing. <laughs> and I hope to catch you all on the next one.